Last night, I watched the sunset and thought how beautiful it looked. I started to worry about how cold it was going to get that night. Last night, I slept in a porta potty. Maybe this will be my last night on the street. God willing, it will be. I was homeless for eight and a half years on the streets of Cleveland. Um, I'm a recovering crack addict. I broke my addiction by selling the newspaper. The vendors initially came to New York because they heard about another, some homeless people in other cities doing this. It's just a paper that's written by homeless, formerly homeless or unsheltered people and it's sold by them. It also is a way to have a voice for people who are often lost in causes that don't often get covered. I like dispelling the myths that people have about homeless people, and that's a big part of what we try to do with the paper. If you think all homeless people are lazy, don't want to work, once you meet one of our vendors and talk with them and read our paper, you change your way of thinking. I think it makes you want to help. Any of us can become homeless in this day and age. It doesn't take a lot. If you lose your job, and you're unable to find one, you could become homeless. When you get an eviction and you lose everything, you could become homeless. We have our vendors who have to write in order to be sell, able to sell that issue. My first article I actually wrote about eating some chicken wings out of the garbage can. I love working with the vendors, I really do, because they have some very, very good stories. They tell their life, every issue. Where well, none of us are journalists, but if you come across as a person who has something that you may be interested in, has something that will change your mind about homelessness, about poverty in Cleveland, people stop, take a look, and then they listen, and then they buy the paper and read it. And it's not just the money, it's a part of something that makes a difference in their life. My message to the customers is, if you see somebody selling one of our newspapers, stop and talk to them. Even if you don't buy a paper, chances are they'll change your conception of what a homeless person is. You both will probably walk away a better person for it.